Shalom, we'll start up by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yah, Bashim, Yah, Shai, Bashim, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is Adama back with another quick one to bring out article regarding the earthquake that rocked Haiti and how it is a sign of the end. We're in the process of this world coming to an end, man. The world as you know it. And it and with that our people, the blacks, Latinos and Native Americans, the Israelites, are getting touched first by the most high. Alright. Scriptures say that he will first uh, start at his house. Meaning the Israelites, the twelve tribes, the wicked of our people. And indeed Haiti is home to a lot of wicked Levites, the tribe of Levi, all right, and uh, scriptures also talk about how these calamities and natural disasters were going to increase, and by them going down, by them, those occurring, it was an indicator that the Most High was re is returning, and that his spirit is within those disasters and bad times uh, and uh, you know natural disasters man his spirit is actually dwelling within those let's get this little bit of this article Haiti earthquake death toll reaches nearly 2,000 at least 1,941 people are known to have died in Haiti in Saturday's powerful earthquake a rise of more than 500 on the previous figure, officials say. So this shit went down on Saturday the 14th, August 14th. We're not even seven days removed from that date. And the death toll is already at 1941. Now, you know when there's a disaster of this magnitude... They always come out with um, death tolls always increase as the days uh, progress because they declare the people that are pretty much dead, all the other people that are dead, they declare them missing, all right? They pretty much declare people missing. And as the days progress, as they find more dead bodies... That actually, um, the, the death toll then rises. So we, it could be, you know, at the, at the 5,000, you know, or 2,500, whatever it may be. But that's why these numbers are increasing. And that's what you're going to see when this shit continues to go down. These earthquakes, fucking tornadoes, hurricanes, tsunamis. You're going to have more missing people. All right. First of all, they can't put a number on and they can't pretty much itemize or keep tabs on everyone in a vicinity where a natural disaster goes down. How the fuck are they going to know that, you know, especially with homelessness uh, uh, rampant right now, how are they going to know how many people and who got affected and who got um pretty much f fucked up by what, whatever natural disaster it may be whether a tsunami look think about a tsunami say it goes down in Indonesia in a, a coastal coastal city where the, the population is 50,000 you know and up how the fuck are they going to be able to um, pretty much census all those people and the death tolls and the injured. But right, it's just spelling. I brought that out just to show you that da it spells danger, man. All right, it, it's going to be all out hell and calamity for this fucking place, man. It says rescue workers have managed to pull 34 people alive from the rubble, but are still missing. But but many are still missing after the 7.2 magnitude quake. The search for survivors has been hampered 
by heavy rains brought this week by tropical storm grace okay and <laughs> it, the grace it's, it's spiritual so not only is the most did the most high rock you with the or Haiti with an earthquake but then he he sent a storm over there all right which pretty much sealed the fate of more people's death because with the rain just like they said they're being hampered and um, prevented from um, from a uh, um, from their search attempts man their ser search attempts are being thwarted and um, and pretty much downsized and uh, decreased because of the storm and how spiritual is it grace <laughs> all right because it's it's almost like mer mercy and grace for the most high to kill and wipe out those jakes that died those levites it's almost like grace that he fucking kills them um because of the the major calamities that are about to befall this fucking place they they pretty much got out before and the scriptures also talk about how death is better than continual sickness a lot of those fucking jakes are super destitute over there you know brothers bring out the phrase uh, mud cakes uh, the term mud cakes and shit like that Jake is doing hella bad over there and like I said Jake is hella wicked over there and we're gonna bring that out too in the scriptures and show you why the most high is pelting that place and has been for years nearly 10,000 people have been injured and hospitals were left overwhelmed the UN says about 500,000 children now have limited or no access to shelter, safe water, and food. Countless Haitian families who have lost everything due to the earthquake are now living literally within their feet, with their feet in, in the water due to the flooding, said Bruno Mays, the UN Children's Fund UNICEF representative in the country. Many have been staying in makeshift tents erected on a football field in the city of Lacaze, one of the areas worst affected by the quake. Okay. So, pretty much, the Most High set up a perfect storm over there. When you have two dis natural disasters going down that are pretty much um, working in tandem to, to, to destroy. So you had the earthquake to fuck them up, and then you had the subsequent flooding, uh, uh, torrential rains, to further, you know, prevent their rescue attempts and fuck up the area, you know, soften up the uh, the rubble and shit to destroy it more and make it more, um, pretty much, uh, less likely and able to be ca less less capable of being. Um, uh, uh, cleaned, man. Because they have to go through and fucking, uh, and pretty much, um, clean all that shit the fuck up. For lack of a better term, they have to clean all that shit the fuck up, man. All that rebel, all that rubble and, and debris. All right? The cleaning crew. And it's, it's, it's preventing that, man. It's, it's making it worse. But you see the prize handed in. So lock you for, for the uh, the choppiness and all that. That's fucking Satan. All right. Let's get jump into these scriptures. It says Matthew 24 and um, 6. Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places so we're seeing all type of holy hell befalling the world we're gonna focus on these earthquakes in diverse places man 
All right, you're seeing earthquakes pop off in a higher frequency and higher intensity across this planet, man. You know, brothers stay as the watchmen, brothers stay doing videos, um, segments on, on the earthquakes, man. Because that was a sign that the Most High said would would uh, be an indicator of his return. All right. It says, and these are the beginning of sorrows. So this is the onset of the of the uh, the tribulation, the the greatest tribulation that's ever befallen man in the history of mankind is, is coming about. Huh? It says. Luke 21 and 11 and and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places see great earthquakes this is a, just another um, reference from the can, one of the canonical gospels all right Luke corroborating Matthew who's pretty much quoted the Lord Qu quoted Yahweh Shai this is straight from the, um, the horse's mouth, so to speak, the source. Great earthquakes, man, is a um, testament to the end. All right, the phase out of, of Esau's kingdom, the parting ascender of times. All right, and famines, is a, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall be that sh shall there be from heaven that's right just like it says in second edges 9 that we're about to get just so as um the beginning had great wonders and effects and signs so as the end is going to have great wonders and effects and signs man all right actually what worse than than the beginning than the uh um the inception of of the the universe man And when you look at that word diverse, it literally translates to an area where earthquakes were, were not found in. All right? To, to, it pretty much means in an area uh, um, where it's not common at. In an area where it's pretty much not fucking supposed to be. Second Edges 9 and 1, he answered me then and said... Measure thou the time diligently in, his, in, it, in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right, so he's telling us to watch and scope out everything that goes down pretty much under the sun, man. As it pertains to current events, natural disasters, um, you know, um, the prophecies. It says, And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then sh the, shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So he's telling you to measure the times all right meaning um be abreast of the current events of things that are going on in your surroundings are around the globe be abreast of those of those things okay cuz and he's telling you when you see these things the signs Okay, when you see the signs and the signs he's told you before, which are contained within these scriptures, which are the prophecies, he's saying, then you'll understand that I'm coming back. Then you'll understand that uh, I'm, I, I'm about to make my return. All right. And then he tell, he's going to go and tell you what those signs entail. Then it says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, 
even from the beginning. So it's telling you two things. That the Most High told you that this shit was going to go down. And it's going down just as he said. He's t telling you that he told you about it in the beginning. And uh, prophesied it. Spoke before. And, and established that it was going to go down like this before. He's saying when you see it start to coming to come to pass, then you'll know that uh, uh, the Most High's word is faithful and true, because it's actually fucking coming to fruition. And then, it, uh, coupled with that, is that you'll see, um, with seeing those signs, you're seeing that the Most High's coming back, man. So it's pretty much proving Yahweh Shimei Shai faithful and. And uh, his word being made good, all right, Empower, for the empowerment of Yahal Bashim Yahushai and his men. And then uh, uh, subsequently, the ushering in of Yahushai's uh, second coming, his return, and then the establishment of Yahal Bashim Yahushai's kingdom on this earth. All right, that's what, that's what we know is about to, to go down by the signs of these earthquakes, man, and uppers of the people, and in, the, in these wars, these skirmishes, these proxy wars, fucking uh, the Taliban taking, seizing control of Afghanistan, all right, which is going to have worldwide implications, and then uh, sorry-ass Americans, motherfucking Joe Biden, coming in and uh, doing one of the biggest pussy moves in uh, the history of America, and withdrawing all the troops and the uh, motherfuckers from the American embassy. All right. This place is a wrap. So with these earthquakes, uh, uh, going back on topic, with these earthquakes, we see the most high return and the fulfillment of prophecy happening before our very eyes. All right. Uh, let me get this real quick. This is in Genesis 49 and 5. This is why Hades getting fucked up and stays getting fucked up. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Okay? Levi, so we're going to stay on the topic. Levi is Le, uh, Levi is a tribe, is one of the 12 sons of Isaac, of the nation of Israel. He's one, the Levites. Levi is the progenitor of the Levites. The Levites are uh, one of the tribes of Israel. All right, who who you ignorantly think are the Haitians, who you ignorantly perceive in your mind to be the the land of Haiti. The, those those fucking you know you probably think they're they're African Afro those Afro peoples over there. Though uh um. The, the Haitians, they're the Levites. They're the really the Israelites. They're they're uh, one of the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel. All right, and they originated in the so-called Middle East over there. All right, in Israel, that's where they come from. All right, and it says that in, okay, Simeon and Levi are brethren. All right. I'll just bring it out just for edification. Say so Simeon is uh, another one of the tribes. He's a progenitor of the tribe uh, of Simeon, the Simeonites. All right, and they are um, the uh, the from uh, the the DR, the Dominican Republic. All right, and this prophecy, Genesis forty nine and five, Isaac. Salakia, Salakia, uh, 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 Jacob, um, Jacob, which is the progenitor of the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel, uh, Jacob sat his, his sons down in the beginning of this chapter and told his sons what's going to befall them in the last days. All right, not in their last days because they lived whatever 60, 70, 80 years, whatever their lifespan was, lifespans were. Um, he wasn't referring to that, he was referring to what was going to happen to their people 
to their seed, to their progeny, what was going to happen to their, uh, uh, to them, um, to their slakia, to their posterity, uh, uh, in the last days. All right. So it tells you right here, the breakdown for this is Simeon and Levi are brethren. So, of course they're brethren. All 12 of us are brothers, all right? Uh, but it's, it says that because it's in reference to the, land, their, uh, the lands that they dwell, their countries, okay? Their habitations. It's over there in the DR and Haiti, which, is, which are... Uh, which are next to each other, so to speak, all right? And, it, and then it goes on to say that instruments of cruelty are in their habitations. So this goes into uh, specifically regarding Haiti. This goes into the witchcraft that uh, uh, the Levites are into over there in Haiti, man. All right, the so-called Haitians are into heavy fucking witchcraft. I believe the the uh, the, the the types are bruja, bruja, brujeria, uh, um, voodoo, all right, hoodoo, and all kind of other witchcraft and bullshit, man. Wicked, uh, uh, wicked shit. So those are those instru instruments of cruelty, man. It's that fucking witchcraft that Haiti's uh, um, embedded in. All right, hey, the Levites are are guilty of witchcraft, man, and that's why the Most High stays fucking they land up. See, in in uh, oh says in their habitations, nothing but wickedness is going down over there. All right, <laughs> they're not worshiping and praising the Heavenly Father. And then finishing up right here in Second Edges, which ultimately is uh, is why the Most High is jacking up this place with earthquakes, man. Second Edges eight and fifty: For many great miseries shall be done to them, that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. So these miseries, these earthquakes, these fires, these proxy wars, these skirmishes. These protests, this racial tension, f uh, famine, food shortages, this hyperinflation, okay, these uh, uh, pandemics, these shutdowns, financial instability, all these miseries, these great miseries that are that are happening right now as we speak are happening in this place, in this end time, and uh, in the latter day in the end times because of the pride that these people have because of the pride of the world all right the mass majority of the world is super fucking proud and they don't have any notion or inkling of worship and uh subjection into the heavenly father all right they do everything that these people do is in staunch rebellion to the heavenly father be how Bashimi I was shy, all right. It says in the scriptures that the love of the Most High is not in this place, it's nowhere found here. The Most High is foreign to this place, all right. Everything that is associated with America and the world ultimately is adverse to, to Yahweh, Bashimi I was shy, man. And that's that pride. Everyone is d dwelling under. The uh, the misconception that they're the motherfucking shit. <laughs> These people they 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 think uh, uh, they think they're God, man. Really? All right. I'm God. That that that's the the pretty much the narrative that's pushed out, man. That that it's it's all about me. It's all about you, and that's that pride, man. That's what they actually push out in this society. All right, and that's why these evils, these bad times are going down, man. We're in the process of this world coming to an end. All right, 
and the Most High is going to stomp out your pride in a violent, painful way. Thus saith the scriptures, man. Earthquake to be crushed with um, with rocks and by by a building. All right. Or what's the other subsequent? Um, way to die in an earthquake to be swallowed up by earth in the, uh, uh, swallowed up in uh, uh, in the earth, man. When the when the ground splits apart, best believe when these big ones st um, start to crack off across the planet. Best believe people are going to be getting swallowed up into the earth. Okay. They said whole land masses are going to separate when the big one hits, man. And it's only a matter of time. It's inevitable. It's like that fucking movie San Andreas is going to be reality for you people, man. And Most High is going to protect and preserve his elect. Regardless, he's going to protect and reserve, preserve his elect. All right. And Most High willing, we hear a great millstone are, are part of that number. You know, and, and any other brother through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai that's in alignment with his word, man. All right. So with that, may death and destruction continue to reign in this society to be ushered into this place, man, in the form of these earthquakes, natural disasters, all out turmoil and hell, great miseries. All right. So with that, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Shalom.